uh, we got my blind set up. It took about two hours, and the furthest shots would be around 50, but you have many more shot opportunities closer, and then you have a wide range of wherever they water, pretty much, and I can shoot them. So that's the theory. Cody should be a little bit easier because there's really only two spots you can put it, so it'll be pretty obvious, I think, when we're down there, uh, which spot we want to put it in. So I'm getting excited. You know, and got up this morning and just kind of got ready and came out and, and have been watching the water hole I plan on sitting on tomorrow morning. And uh, we see antelope. It's looking pretty good. Me and Owen are pretty excited to get after it tomorrow and get in the blind and hopefully put an antelope down. Me and Owen are getting everything together here. I'm putting together our little cooler for our blind and uh, he's going to get all the camera stuff together and I'm going to make sure we've got all the hunting stuff. We had a couple guys come through just um, last minute scouting, driving around, checking things out, and they saw a bunch of group, a big group of antelope on our water hole. So hopefully something comes in tomorrow that's worth shooting, and uh, we get it all on film and done right, and um, we'll be ready to rock. We got him. We got him. Holy cow. <laughs> Whoa. That was quick. That's a good antelope. That's a good antelope. So at about 6 o'clock this morning, me and Orin, we saw a doe and a fawn. Orin saw him on the ridge. So we were just watching them, kind of having fun, you know, seeing some antelope right away opening morning. <laughs> and so, uh, we, we see this nice buck come up over the reach about 400 yards out, and we're like, that's a, I was like, going, that's a good buck. We're shooting that one if it comes in. So, me and Horn just kind of waited it out. I told Horn, just let me know when he comes in. And he he comes in, and then moves a little closer, and Horn's like, pull back. I'm like, what's he at now, what's he at, what's he at now, what's he at now? Horn gets him on range at 35 yards, split my pins right, right at the shoulder, and and the rest is he's dead yeah. so uh, man we're stoked it's freaking 7 10 opening morning nice antelope <laughs> it's a good book <laughs> taken care of 
uh, once once me and Orrin kind of got up to it and got some footage and pictures of it where it had died, we drug it about 300 yards into this kind of draw in order to uh, make sure the carcass and guts are away from if uh, Cody wants to hunt this water hole or somebody else does that way, you know, cows and stuff aren't on it messing it up. But uh, we got it all cleaned up, quartered out, and uh, put on my back. So whole thing's on here. The horns are kind of goofy on how I put it on the pack, but whatever, it works. So uh, me and Or are going to pack it out to the pickup and then uh, get it on ice. Uh, it was a super fun morning. I mean, right away there was action and we shot this guy at 710. So I'm super stoked, super happy, and, and blessed to get this one.